end to end digitization which again gives you a 20 lakh startup fund if a sort of a, a funding is there obviously covered by cgtms those are those are the insurance schemes which are covering this so these are some of the initiatives which we are rolling out uh, talking about the back end part of it uh, access to credit is one thing and the ease of doing like ease of doing business the same way the ease of doing, getting a credit is also another. that's how where we are rolled out our initiative of bre wherein it's the process starts from a digitization platform in a micro or a small enterprises can achieve uh, can access that platform put in their uh, information we use publicly available information and then given in principles action maybe in a, an hour or two and the entire process can span a four hours that's the ease of rate which we wanted to give it to them now let's move to the leading development banker in the country sibbi so nareshi is here sibbi in fact we have been their pma Procurement agency in 20 states. Some of the initiatives that we have done is a state level credit guarantee fund in Tamil Nadu. Why a state level credit guarantee fund? Like Tamil Nadu, we had the TIIC, Tamil Nadu Interest Investment Corporation, and the which is not eligible under the CGTMS for onward for uh, credit card. Second problem was Tamil Nadu, the senior government industry wanted support for medium sized units, which is also not eligible under the CGTMS. So for these two reasons, a hundred crore fund is created. Uh, uh, where 30 percent from the credit guarantee trust, balance from the state government, from the state government, balance from the credit guarantee trust, and they are implementing it. So many states are now going aggressively into this. So one is uh, your experience with regard to cluster development, the SCDF introduced by CP, which is now aggressively utilized across the country. Uh, more than 2,000 crores almost is has been secured by Odisha alone. Uh, as the biggest uh, recipient for financing cluster infrastructure and also on other intervention by SIPB including the uh, state level cluster development fund which could prove to be of benefit to SMEs. Over to you. Just to set the context in place, uh, so I was talking about this SCDF funds basically. Uh, many of us must not be aware about what is this SCDF fund all about basically. Just to, uh, this being a forum for knowledge sharing and all that and it's been organized by the uh, Knowledge Chamber of Commerce itself. So it's better I should put a little bit of knowledge amongst all the uh, participants over here. Uh, SCDF fund basically it has been launched sometimes in 2021. It's basically as we know that uh, MSMEs are being treated as the backbone of uh, our uh, industrial economy. And in, in fact if we talk about uh, this uh, industrial infrastructure it serves as the uh, spine of the sector. But the basic uh, difficulty that the sector was facing based on the various studies and all that. A, a committee was set up by the government under the chairmanship of uh, uh, UK Sina, which has given its recommendation on the cluster development fund basically. RBI has accepted the recommendation of the committee and a fund was uh, uh, set up with SIDB. SIDB has devised this scheme and it's been approved by the uh, RBI. It's, it's not basically the scheme for the entrepreneurs directly. It's, it's basically to support the entrepreneurs to have an upgraded sort of infrastructure in place so that they can improve their pro productivity, they can in enhance their uh, 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 productions and all that. It's, it's basically a corpus wherein Funds are coming from the banks itself. It, RBI conducts the uh, annual inspection of all the banks wherein they find that the, some priority sector lending shortfall is there. Whatever their shortfall is there, it's been uh, placed with SIDB. So committee, committee has suggested that whatever the funds are coming to SIDB, uh, RBI uh, instructs the banks to deposit the funds with should be in the shape of deposits. Should be used to lend these funds in the shape of refinance to the banks again, coming from banks and going to the banks. It was happening like that. The committee has suggested 
कि इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट एम एस एम ईज आर नॉट गेटिंग द बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ दिस वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज दैट यू हैव टू गिव द पुश टू द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट सो दैट स्टेट में स्टेट गवर्नमेंट शुड अपग्रेड देयर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर द एम एस एम ईज इंटर एंड एम एस एम ईज गेट बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ दैट तो दिस फंड विच वी हैव क्रिएटेड विद अस इट्स बेसिकली गोइंग टू द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट अक्रॉस द कंट्री एंड इट्स इट्स अ लो कास्ट फंड इट्स अ पुश टू द गवर्नमेंट टू गो इन फॉर द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर द एम एस एम ईज वी हैव बेसिकली लिस्टेड अराउंड ट्वेंटी एट एक्टिविटीज इन द इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर्स वेयर इन स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कैन go in for the upgradation of the existing industrial estates or they can see that some potential is there around the corner they can set up a new uh, 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 estate itself to help the msmes it's it's basically what happens is that to get the msmes benefit out of this it's been divided into three categories basically one is to upgrade the industrial uh, estates to set up the industrial state second is the social uh, uh, advantage to the sector basically the industrial states wherein the lot of workers are working but they are not having the uh, set up to stay the workers are not finding the convenience to set, set up their hostel facilities or some sort of uh, this technical institute like itis polytechnics these sorts of things where in where from the entrepreneurs get the uh, journey beginning from their uh, uh, courses it starts the third thing that uh, they had said us ki you have to have the connectivity for the uh, msmes in case if they are finding it difficult to reach to the sector their commuting is difficult you can support the governments for setting up bridges or flyovers or roads so that they can help the msme sector to reach to the their respective units this way actually we have across the country abhi around 11 states are there where they have got the assistance from city and uh, if we talk about around 155 projects we have funded 6700 crores of amount that we have so far sanctioned and uh, if we talk about since we are sitting in gujarat if we talk about gujarat gujarat we are initiating a lot of efforts we are making from our side to push this particular scheme to uh, get into the uh, scheme but fortunately or unfortunately we can say that our departments in the state government are so rich so uh, resourceful they are not finding it convenient to get the funds which are easily available it, anyhow with our efforts actually we are able to penetrate and uh, we could get uh, some sort of two projects from jetco uh, uh, amounting to uh, about uh, i think around 650 crores of amount is there which will be sanctioning in principal sanction we have already given that they will be setting up one transmission substation and also upgrading the uh, their existing uh, substations sir regarding greening of regarding greening of smes yesterday i was with dr rk singh's office he was sitting there only bid kar rahe the to kal 200 million dollar unhone jeeta global what is it climate fund meaning so sib is now leading the smallest development bank of india to make our msme sector greener so they have several schemes also one two or three flagship schemes and msme sector ko solar uh, energy use karo apa other non conventional energy use karo to bhayankar funding bhi hai at very attractive terms so would you like to just a minute to speak on it yeah uh, you said you were sitting with our uh, particular hat yesterday only so actually we have got a green finance scheme basically wherein uh, uh, we we fund the uh, entrepreneurs those who are having their energy efficient projects to get the financing from cb at a very attractive rate at very attractive terms also we we are funding almost 100% of their needs to to subject to a certain limits 
of course. It's a, it's a basically uh, 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 if if we can say 100% fun funding, it's it's a two-way uh, supportive to the entrepreneurs. If we are uh, talking about some sort of subsidies they are getting from the state government for setting up their energy efficient projects or solar projects, so if they are getting 100% instead of getting 75%, they will be getting the this additional subsidy of 25% from the state government. Plus, what we say that whatever your margin is there, you can keep the get that margin with us in the shape of FDs, on which will be providing them uh, uh, interest of around 7%. So, 5 to 7% they will be getting from the state government, 7% from us, and project is there, 100% funding from our sites will be there. So, that is a win-win situation. Plus, if, if we can talk about the security part, we will not be asking them for the, any kind of collaterals or otherwise. We will be funding based on the whatever deposit they have kept, this will be the collaterals also, and uh, their margin also. Both ways, the things are covered. In case if certain limits are on a higher side, they can again go for the green financing projects right from uh, greenfield to expansion, modernization and all that with very nominal uh, sort of promoter's contribution as well as the attractive rate of interest also. So many, many uh, projects are coming. Today if we talk about in Gujarat, we can say that uh, uh, last year also plus during this first quarter also, we are getting around 70 to 80 percent of our business through these two products only because it's so attractive to the entrepreneurs that they are getting enticed and uh, coming to us for giving us the funding for these projects. So hopefully.